Hey guys, welcome back to Volley Volley. Sorry about the delay. My old computer died on me, so I had all this footage ready, almost edited, and it was just real tough. I'll show you guys a quick clip of what I was experiencing and just why I had to get a new computer. So thank you for the support you guys been giving. Please like and subscribe. You guys have been amazing. Let's grow this channel, and most importantly, let's grow your game. Let's get started. So here I am, I'm just going to focus on serving. Right now you see I'm practicing my toss. We always want to make sure our arm's straight, make sure we're in our position. That ball is going almost straight up in front of us, but it's on the right side of, or left side depending. Whatever your swinging arm is, it's out in front of it. It's not to the left side. So you see, nice toss. I'm catching it where I want to make contact, and then I'm going to walk through my serve. You always want to follow through your serve. Once again, you see that? The hand placement is vital. Carry through to the court. Your stance, right here, your stance, I'm talking about this. You need to make sure it's strong. That's going to allow you to get your good toss. Your toss is vital. Every single time you toss, you want to make sure it's the best it can be. If not, let it drop. All right, so what we're focusing on right now, if we want to push the ball flat and deep into the court, we're making contact right in the center. Our hand is tight. It's very stiff. You literally, I can't even push my fingers back. That's how stiff you want it. The wrist is going to be tight. Look, I can't even push the thumb back. So when I make contact, my hand's tight. So I'm all you always want to get up, get you always want to get into your base your stance for your serve. All right. I always like to keep it upside down. Everyone has their own preference. And I like to hit the hole. Alright, so I'm ready to go. My toss is gonna to be on the right side of my body. And then I'm gonna make contact for the ball to go flat and deep into the court. Same thing, I'm putting, sometimes I also like to have the title just below, it's like my lucky charm. And you saw that when I followed through, where my hand went is where the ball went. So it was going deep zone five, that's where it went. So this time I'm gonna do the exact opposite. I'm gonna be putting that ball deep zone one corner usually you'll have an outside there or if the setter's back there it's going to cause some mumbo jumbo because he still has to release he or she has to release so this time we're going deep into the last three feet of the court zone one and you'll see that i'll naturally step onto the court as i usually play left back to get into the play just in case the ball comes back over. See, regardless if you're in sand, grass, or hardwood, you always want to make sure you're balanced and set. Key thing, never rush your serve. That's the biggest volleyball. All right. We saw in that last serve that it didn't go to the deep one corner but it went in between the one and six team. Still very aggressive, landed on the line. That's gonna make the middle back and the right back passer intellectually try and talk to decide who's going to get it if they have not called seams. The seam is the area in between each zone. This time, going towards the corner, I'm gonna hit it. For volley volley, let's hit this. If the best way for me to hit this is to make sure when I make contact, I'm finishing toward the deep corner of zone one. Also, if you're a beginner, beginning tip, you always want to serve in the middle of the court to give yourself, because you're not going to be as accurate as the average player, the most court room, literally to go left or right. Me, I'm experienced. I'm going to still stay on this left side, but usually 
you want to be over in the center as a beginner. So when we're serving the ball and we want to make it go short, we have to get the angle of our hand to be under it. So if we want to push it deep in the court, we're going straight on. If we want to angle it to go into zone two, three, and four, we got to get under it. Our shoulder is going to drop a little bit. We're still following through, but it's not the same strength. Sometimes people will step up closer when they're going to serve short to the line to give them a little more room to drop it. Sometimes you step back if you really want to hit the tape and roll over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step closer to this one. Same concept, right? I'm not going to foot fault. I get my stance there. I got my lucky part of my ball upside down. I'm going to go for zone two. That's where the setter usually is. So we want to place it there to cause the most ham. Get them, we want to get them out of system. You always want to get the team out of the system on your serve. That's the key thing to the serve. It's not the ace. The ace is the cherry on top. Get them out of system, get an easy free ball or roll shot so you can run your offense. That's what this is about. So we're going zone two. So I stepped through, hit zone two. So we saw on that zone two, I hit the ball a little bit more under to give it that arc to land. The lower the ball is, the that gives your opponent less time to make a decision and react to pass the ball. Thanks again for watching guys. Your support has been incredible. Please like, subscribe, share this video. I have a ton more knowledge to show you. Obviously right now you guys can see these are the mock-up designs for the logo and the, in the um, thumbnails. These are the designs. Let me know what you think. I love your feedback. Let's keep working hard, improving our game, and I'll see you soon.